Your featherweight Muay Thai battle is set for three two-minute rounds, and it is brought to you by our friends at the legendary Cotton Eye Joe. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of six feet even. His weight, 144 pounds. He trains with a Gogi combatant and he fights out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And tonight in the Aries cage, he makes his amateur debut. I introduce to you, Sajan Alkanani. And his opponent across the He steps into the cage tonight at a height of five feet, seven inches, and a weight of 146 pounds. He trains with the Lebanon Dojo, and he fights out of Lebanon, Tennessee. And tonight, in the Aries Fight Series cage, he also makes his amateur debut, Daniel! Josh Amano refing this action. Keeping the order in there. The East, he's going to try. <laughs> second Muay Thai bout of the evening. Two, second of three. Ooh, and so G we see coming into the action. Oh, wow, man, amazing left. We see a low clinch here from Daniel Collinsworth. Oh, spin kicks. We see a few of them, and I think he wants to... Maybe get the basics down and get the range before we start seeing more of those. Great action here in the first 30 seconds. Daniel Collinsworth remaining calm through the fire, and he's uh, he's landed a through he's threaded the needle a couple of times. Yep. Nice head kick by Shahad. Shahad, we've seen with two of these head kicks that are looking great. And this guy is staying calm too. He's he's waiting out on these spins. Ooh. He's stepping out of range for him, which is smart. Like we saw in the juniors, both guys kind of came out real heavy in the first round. These guys started out about the first 20 seconds, and now you're starting to see they're slowing a little bit. Yeah, down. The yeah. Technique it's starting to come in. Nerves are probably waning. I'm sure, there's a lot of adrenaline there too that they just gotta have to wait out here a little bit. Good clench here from Sajad. That's a nice little exchange of knees there, too. Sajad finding a good home for that left. Ooh. The outside right is where Sajad needs to be on that leg. Collinsworth's able to just sneak a couple punches in there in the fire, inside the fire. Yeah, we see him making success getting inside the pocket, but it's a dangerous game to play with Sajid. Five seconds left. Great way to finish that first round from Sajad. Sajad, amazing round. Also want to take just a second to uh, brag on our referee, uh, Muay Thai bouts. A lot of action sometimes happens in the clinch. To see him allow that to go on uh, was great. Sometimes people don't know what they're watching. American kickboxing, right. as soon as they get together, they separate it. However, in Muay Thai about when it gets in the clinch, that's where a lot of work happens. So. Absolutely, yeah, and a lot of that's to the judge's discretion if there's still action happening or there or not, but these guys are looking great. Yeah. Great first round from both of them. Lots of action to near tonight here at Cotton Eye Joe's. If you're tuning in with us at Spectation Sports, it is the place to be. Place your bets early with our pro bouts at MGM. I have a question, Samantha. So Sajad sat on the stool. Uh, Daniel did not. 
is there when you're in there fighting if your opponent did not sit on the stool does that tell you anything that maybe they come out heavier this next round um to me that kind of like says hey i got more energy in my tank by not sitting down yeah, these guys, ready to go. yeah these guys both turned it up a lot wow you see Daniel Collinsworth really turning up. His, his corner must have really gotten in his ear, but Sajad is being equally as defensive. He's letting him turn around here. It's good. Man, Sajad quick. Sajad quick, 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 quick. Kicks. Yep. His kicks, leg He's kicks. He's going to chase him around the cage the doing that. Yep. The shot with some spinning kicks of his own. Coming. I see that, yeah. Second round flash from Sajad. No, Daniel ain't got bad striking. He's looking good. Yeah, he's yeah. looking good. Oh, man, it's a job. Ooh, head man, kick. That, that left head kick is Knees. finding a home for him. Daniel's had a lot of success in the counter punching or the counter striking. Yes. However, there's not a big window. Sajad throws punches. He throws them in bunches. He throws yeah, bunches yeah. with kicks. Yep, you're not just going to get one. Good jab there from Daniel Collinsworth. Just needs a few more of those. Yeah, Daniel's finding the counter when the side kicks there. Yeah, it seems like he's finding a lot of action on the breakup or on the counters, but needs needs a little bit more here. Yeah. There's Sajad with a counter. Oh, these guys have not been at distance almost the whole fight. They've been right there in the pocket fighting yeah, one another. And we don't see a lot of against the cage action here with these guys because they're banging it out in the middle. Ooh, ooh, team. ooh, that was a great way to end that round. All right, Samantha, you're in the corner of Daniel Collingsworth. What are you telling your fighter here coming in the third round? I am telling him, as soon as he kicks, close the distance, get in there with some dirty boxing. I think that will prove him well in this third round. See the action here. I mean, these guys were taking up every square inch of the cage of this fight. Boom, that left kick is. Also getting into the body, too, going in with some uppercuts to the body, especially because si has got the reach on him. So as Big soon time. as he throws a jab, get in there and eat that body up with some uppercuts. Smart. Another amazing performance from these debut fighters. First round, exciting. Sorry, first fight, rather. Very exciting rounds one through three. And we're seeing that here again in the second of three Muay Thai bouts. So you have this 2-0 to uh, to Sajad. I do. Yeah, how about yourself? I do, too. Yep. Uh, once again, Daniel Collinsworth showing great heart. Uh, Still in this fight, anything could happen. I, I do think that Sajad is a little bit more durable and has a little bit more technical ability and has just taken less wear into this third round. We hear the corner of Sajad tell him, just take it to him. And uh, I think mean, that's what he needs to do. He needs to close this round up and be violent. Man, that, that left is going to knock someone out one day. Ooh. It's a lot of forward pressure. And we say it all the time, but these, Ooh, de these nice debut fighters are not the debut fighters we saw 10 years ago. These guys are great. That spinning heel kick was amazing, though. Uh, yeah. It was pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, those head kicks by Sajad, though. So John is tall, so that's not too much of a distance for him. We see Daniel keeping Ooh. that, that nice right elbow kick. tight. He does not want another Daniel one of those liver kicks. Yep. We've seen glimpses of great things from Daniel Collinsworth. Yeah, and I think that Daniel has the strength. He has the technical ability. Maybe it's just some, some first fight jitters he's got to get out. I, I definitely don't think we're seeing all the talent that he has. Ooh, Ooh. that was a nice spinning hit kick. Daniel's trying to really finish out this third round on his side, but that's a tough fill. you got a lot against you right now. What an amazing round to finish out this fight. And it's still not over. 
Nope. 25 seconds remaining here of the third and final. Alkalani Collingsworth. Man, what a fight. Ooh, that overhand right for Alkalani. Perfect. Ooh, oh, gosh, those spinning back kicks are so nice, but Daniel. Yeah, I think Daniel's looking to put the exclamation point on this third round, but I don't know if Ooh. it was enough. Oh! Not down. And that's how you finish a round. Incredible. Wow. Yeah, incredible fight. Great performance from both of these guys. I Kicks wanna, for days. I want to <laughs> mention also, in that last exchange, it looked like there was a low blow Sajad took. Uh, I just kept running with he it. He just kept going. The referee didn't stop the action. I saw him wince for a second, but he continued on and fought like a warrior he is. So who y'all got on this one? Uh, you know, I'm got, I got the blue corner on this one. I think Alkalani did what he needed to, mm -hmm. to take the victory. How about yourself? I, I do too, but I would really like to see Daniel back in for another fight on another yes. card. Yeah. Yeah, we saw glimpses of really great things from him. Uh, those spinning kicks, something you really don't see in a debut fight. Uh, Sometimes you don't see it in the kickboxing match. And they were so accurate. They really were. Yeah. So good. Yeah, definitely some really nice flash and good rounds from Daniel Collingsworth. But we'll see if they did enough damage and did what it take to win his debut. You know, we were pretty lucky at the underground. We didn't, nothing was left to decision right. at the underground yeah. just last weekend. Lots of finishes. I don't believe there was not one decision. There wasn't. Wow. Nope. Yep. Pretty wild. Yep. You don't see that very often. Great night. Yep. Great night tonight, starting out already. Two uh, juniors and uh, debut guys starting off this show with a bang. And we're going to turn it to Lance Green to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecard. Judge Lisa Dorn sees this 29-28. Johnny Stewart, 29-28. Justin Watson, 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision,